everybody, back out bullion here. By failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. A very famous quote by Benjamin Franklin, and that is the overarching theme of today's video, which is all about having some safety nets, having the right preparation in place before and whilst you are buying precious metals, because you just never know when life is going to throw a curveball at you. We are experiencing a bit of a curveball at the moment here. Our dog Bowie is not very well and hopefully he's going to pull through. But it does come with lots of wonderful medical bills and things like that, vet bills. And it's got me thinking this week about having a safety net, having things in place, having the right mentality in place around your finances, around your investing in precious metals. And precious metals forms part of this. I guess you can extrapolate a lot of the themes of today's video out into the general world of finances and life and everyday spending as well. It doesn't have to be just about precious metals. Overextending oneself is never a good idea. So hopefully we can get through this video and uh, have a few interesting things to think about and talk about. Of course, everything that I am saying today is just my own thoughts and opinions on the subject. It's not financial advice. So any financial decisions you make are yours and yours alone. Let us know your thoughts on the video as we go through. I'd like to know your opinions on what preparations you take uh, to prepare for unforeseen circumstances when it comes to buying precious metals because you can go and buy lots of precious metals still, even if you are expecting things to go pear shapes. There are ways to be able to release the funds from your precious metals quickly. Uh, and you know that's, I think, one of the ultimate things here is the release of funds. So if you are gonna be buying precious metals, and I've said this time and time again, it is the message which I want to hammer home, and that's a good phrase to use when looking at this big hammered Rolo here, but hammering home the message of preparation on your exit strategies, knowing how you might look to go and sell your precious metals if you need to. Something like these pieces of hand poured silver that we've got on the table here, they will be a higher risk. You will pay a premium for them, whether it's my stuff or other people's poured silver. You will then struggle to sell these at a quick, well, at a quick price. You might take some time and get a good price for them, but for a quick release price, it will take time, which is, a, of course, a risk. So understanding your limitations is really, really key and understanding how those finances are going to play into the future as well and having that exit strategy so that you can understand how to release the funds that you have locked up is key. So first off, I just want to talk a little bit about overextending. So it can be really alluring to buy gold and silver and I've been victim of that to some extent myself. You know, buying the first bits of silver that we did, we then suddenly have uh, evolved into quite the considerable uh, silver and gold stack. So, you know, life—it's uh, funny like that. You get uh, you get hooked to things, you get uh, into things, and some people, uh, it's difficult to see the bigger picture. Fortunately, for us here in the backyard balloon household, we've always been pretty grounded with uh, our cash, and we can uh, diversify. We have diversified. We don't have everything in precious metals, but I do know there's a lot of people out there who like the idea of having everything in precious metals because numbers on a screen don't necessarily yield the same kind of financial stability in their minds. But there is definitely something to be said about having those cash reserves because one of the biggest single failings, and it, it really is the single biggest failing of gold and silver buying, is being forced to sell the gold and silver when the opportune time is not there. Now for the, for us in the UK, that's even more exemplified for silver because of the taxes that are involved as well. If you want to look to buy silver, unless you can find a really, really good spot price deal on, uh, on like the silver forum or the second hand market or eBay or wherever it might be, you're gonna be paying 15, 20% over the odds over spot price anyway for your silver. So if you are forced to sell that silver quickly, Again, it's going to hit your pocket. It's going to make you lose cash. And that's, of course, not what we want to achieve with precious metals. So for even those of you in the US, though, it can still be a bit of a pitfall. You know, the, the prices are volatile. They go up, they go down. You might pay premiums on collector coins or old bars like this Engelhard. And if you are then forced to sell, and it's all about being forced to sell, and it's about avoiding that situation where you would be forced to sell, which is key. And that's, I guess, the message here to uh, to sort of talk about. You know, we 
we have to be careful in our planning, in our financial planning. It's just sensible. Otherwise, you are setting yourself up to fail. Like we say there with Benjamin Franklin's quote at the start, by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. So what can you do to prepare right at the very onset of your silver or gold investing journey? Research, 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 I think is probably my biggest uh, argument to you of what you can and should be doing uh, to prepare yourselves for buying silver. So understanding what you're going to be buying and how you are then going to look to perhaps sell it in the future is really key. So understanding that uh, certain items will have premiums, understanding that premium items will take longer to sell at the same price that perhaps you bought them. Whereas coins like this here, you can see I bought this for £1,015.60 in 2017 from Atkinson's in the UK. And uh, in theory, this is a uh, you know this is just a bog standard Britannia. It's a second hand. It's a very attractive Britannia. Don't get me wrong. And there might well be a little bit of a premium to it. But I bought it at a small percentage over spot. And if we needed to release these funds, for example, to help pay for our dog's medical treatments, then my exit strategy would be to approach a dealer or to try and sell it on the silver forum or on social media or wherever it might be. So. There are exit strategies in place there, and if you don't have an idea about those, if you don't have that backup plan in place, then you might well be up the brown creek without a paddle. And so gold is easy. Gold is always easier in my head. It's always a lot more liquid. The swing on it is a lot less. Uh, but when you come to the other metals, like this here is platinum. So platinum, and you might even see some of the other metals in the, in the news at the moment. Rhodium, I think, is the one that's gone up by like 200% in the last month or something and you might think yeah that's a really great buy I should definitely go and buy it well again it's about how you're going to get your money out at the other end it's just not necessarily possible or practical to really sell rhodium quickly I, I mean it's you're not going to someone will buy it there's no doubt that someone will buy it but in terms of the speed that you'll be able to release those funds it's always going to be difficult you can see here the price paid for this platinum coin 83930 from goldsilver.b in 2017. And that kind of brings me on to the next point, which is record keeping. So record keeping is really, really important to help keep you on track with a lot of your purchases. So it's really important, I think, to keep a, a, a sort of watchful eye on what you are spending. It can be very easy just to say, oh yeah, I'll have that, I'll have that, or I've got a certain budget to spend on your gold on your, and on your silver in a, in a certain time frame. But uh, it's not always that simple because, as I said, it can be quite alluring, it can be quite addicting, it can be quite easy to lose track of what you've been purchasing. And uh, to that end, I, I personally have a, a big Excel spreadsheet for all of my uh, kind of gold purchases. I, I'm a little bit lapse in my sort of silver purchases, I have to say, uh, around that. But for me, ultimately, um, you know, we have a baseline for it. We can always go back through and check the records if we need it. Uh, for me, it's the liquidity of the gold, which is one of the key drivers here. I, if I needed to, for example, if we needed to sell uh, some of our metals to pay for our dog's medical treatments this week, we wouldn't be selling the silver to do that. If we had to, if we needed to, we would be selling the gold to look to do that. That said, the best thing that you can do is to avoid needing to sell in any circumstances at all that are not under your control. So it's very much in your favour. You will get more returns out of your precious metals if you stick with them and if you hold them for a long time. So prudent financial planning is key. Metals are great. You'll hear so many people talking about so many things, that reasons why metals are better than having cash in the bank. But ultimately, you can't wander into your local vets or your local hospital and pay with a lump of gold or silver. It's just not going to happen in this world. Maybe one day it might, maybe in certain places in the world it's possible. But in general, it's certainly not, and certainly not here in the Western world. And we do take a lot for granted, I think, in this world, certainly in the first world countries. Uh, you know, we, we will be less prudent with our spending than perhaps we could be. And, you know, for, for us here in the Backyard Bullion household, as I said, we are having a tough time with, uh, with Bowie at the moment, and hopefully he will be on the mend pretty soon. But, you know, it's not easy and uh, it's just hard. But fortunately for us, you know, the financial side of things is one thing we don't have to worry about because we have prudently planned, we've got the savings, we've got that, you know, they've got that money that's there. We don't go out on weekends and spend thousands of pounds, well, I say thousands, you know, hundreds of pounds a night on, on drinks and on 
fancy food and things like that, we you know we we drive sensible cars. We don't drive Ferraris and Porsches and things like that. So I guess my point is that if you have cash, if you have money, if you have a little bit of you know forethought for these situations, it's great to look to buy silver, of course, and and gold, but. Be careful about it is, I guess, the message for this video because it's not always as great as it might seem. And I do see and I have seen many people become disheartened with silver and with gold because they end up losing a lot of money, being forced to sell things at an inopportune time. And it's all about picking and choosing when you look to buy and sell because you never know what prices are going to be like. Well, the world we live in right now, it can turn on, you know, oh, what's the phrase? You can turn on the the pin or the head of a pin or something you know it can really change direction for anybody with any situation happening whether it's a, a poorly dog a poorly person you know something wrong with your house a fire or anything and you know insurance not being paying out for whatever it might be it can and it probably will happen at some point to everybody in this world so being prepared is really really important so that's the message today i i hope you guys have enjoyed it i mean i know it's i'm sorry for this being a little bit of a little bit of a less energy video it's it's been a hard week with with Bowie he's not out of the woods yet and hopefully he will be soon but uh, we'll we'll sort of have to keep an eye on that and see how it goes if you enjoyed today's video please put a thumbs up on it and share it around on your social media that would be very helpful for everything that we do here on the channel and I'd love to know your thoughts on being prepared on having the safety nets making sure that you are safe and secure financially because the last thing you want in a crisis situation when things are when the brown stuff is hitting the fan to be really really worried or not be able to afford the treatments that you might need for your loved ones or your pets or whatever it might be or that new boiler or that new car to get to work or whatever it might be it's just so so important in this world and there are you know people think that this stuff here on the table is the answer to everything but i can tell you from experience that it's not and it's really important to be prepared for any eventuality so that is the message from today's video i hope you've enjoyed it as i said put a thumbs up on if you did let me know your thoughts down in the comment section on being prepared what, you, what steps you might take to being prepared and how you prepare for the unforeseen circumstances when it relates to silver or gold or even just general finances otherwise that's it Thank you one and all for watching. Send us good thoughts for our dog. Hopefully he'll be on the mend pretty soon. Otherwise, subscribe if you want to see future videos. Thank you one and all for watching. Have a great week and please make sure you like, share, comment and subscribe for more.